Don't you see? They're doing the same thing to us that they did to you. The Nutjob 3 is an upcoming 3D computer animated film about a heist. We can expect things to be a little different this time around, and of course, that news has got the fans buzzing with excitement. How exactly will it be different from the first two movies? We've also heard that the movie is in development as we speak, so let's jump right into the details. The mirror is gone! The ride is destroyed! We're all getting it! The second movie in the franchise actually left some unanswered questions. Remember the last scene where Surly and Andy were going to rob the nut cart? Were they successful? And what about Raccoon? Last we saw, Raccoon was swimming to the shore being chased by sharks. All those open-ended scenes have definitely gotten fans' hopes up for a third movie. This upcoming movie is going to mark the third release in the Nutjob series and will also serve as a sequel to the Nutjob 2, Nutty by Nature 2017. It is produced by Cecil Kramer, Bonnie Arnold, Mike Cars, William Binley, and Daniel Wu. Now that we know it's coming, our question is, what can we expect from this movie? Mostly fans should expect some of the old characters to make an appearance, and so. The previous actors can also be returning to reprise their roles again. We have Will Arnett as Surly, Brenda Fraser will be playing Grayzon, and we also have Liam Neeson as Raccoon. Precious will be voiced by Maya Rudolph, and the third movie will also have Katherine Heigl as Andy and Jackie Chan as Mr. Fang. Robert Tinkler will be playing Buddy and will have Bobby as Frankie. Some new faces were also seen in the sequel who were not present in the first movie as per the plot of the movie. Many faces from the previous movies may again be seen this time, so some new faces will probably be introduced this time around too. It's okay, we'll be fine. We'll just go back to scrounging and gathering like nature intended. The Nutjob movie is actually based on an animated short film that came out in 2005, Surly Squirrel, and it is also made by the director of The Nut Job, and he co-wrote the film. The movie takes place in the fictional town of Oakdon City. Surly, the independent squirrel coupled with his partner Buddy, organizes a heist to compete with Andy and Grayson to gather food supply for winter. It's expected that the new movie may have many different designs and it might even explore some new themes. It is also predicted to be a step in the other direction as compared to the other two parts. The Nut Job 3 could go in a couple of directions. We might be seeing Surly and his friends on the hunt for a new nut shop. Maybe this time around we'll dive deeper into the characters' personal lives and see a possible romance flourish between Andy and Surly. If a wedding is on the table, it would make the third installment a really happy one. On the other hand, some of Surly's old foes could be back to create trouble. You can't help but immediately wonder what Raccoon might do to get rid of Surly. We might also see the entire park be threatened, in which case the animals have to unite and come up with a plan together to save their home. The mayor has already attempted it once but failed to save the amusement park. Now, could Surly and his friends be successful if they tried it a second time? Either way, we know that we'll be in for some fun and maybe even a few tender moments of character development. Tai Chi is like fighting. In, slow motion. in the first movie, Surly and Buddy were told by Raccoon, the leaders of the animals, to leave the group of fellow animals. Later, Surly, with the help of Andy and Grayson, explained how Raccoon really just wants to have control over the food so that he can then use that to control the lives of the animals. In the end, Raccoon, along with King, after suffering an accident with the van in which they were traveling, tried to murder Surly and his fellow animals. Surly came to everyone's rescue and gave the credit for the whole thing to Grayson and he turns into the new leader of the group of animals. In the last scene, we saw Raccoon and Cardinal were alive from the accident of the van, but they didn't exactly get away scot-free, and they were being circled by the sharks. In the next movie, Surly and the fellow animals were just about to lose their Liberty Park because of Muldoon, who really just wanted to turn it into an amusement park to make himself even richer and increase his wealth. All the animals with Surly as the leader fought with Muldoon. Mr. Fang also came in and helped them in order order to make Muldoon change his mind about turning the park into an amusement park. Surly ended up trapped and the animals were caught by Muldoon and his gang, who were rescued by Mr. Fang and the party. In the end, they won the fight against Muldoon and his Gunther. Surly released all the animals and they were left in their park and Muldoon, Heather, and Gunther were put behind the bars for their actions. In the last scene, Frankie and Precious had puppies and the villain from the story of the previous movie and, of course, that scene with Raccoon and the sharks. It all creates for a threequel among viewers. Eight donuts? Yeah. Yeah.
There is no food! The first movie came out in 2014, and then the sequel, The Nut Job, Nutty by Nature, released in 2017. Now it's high time we get a new movie as the fans were growing more and more impatient. As of February 21st, 2020, it was revealed that the third part of the film is also being developed. But as a result of the COVID-19 pandemic attack, they postponed both the release date and the production of the movie. We haven't gotten any updates about the movie's production, but it is still in its pre-production stage. So, we're hoping it's underway? No release date has been reported so far, but it's expected to be sometime in 2023. The first two movies in the franchise are distributed by Open Roads Films, but the third is going to be distributed by STX Entertainment after Open Road Bankruptcy. The Nut Job 3 is going to be the fourth animated movie from STX Entertainment, the other three being Blazing Samurai, Ugly Dolls, and Play Mobile The Movie. Fun fact, Chris Lee, a veteran indie sector official, said to Variety that prior to the release of Parasite, Nut Job was one of the most critically acclaimed pieces of Korean intellectual property probably in existence. It's no surprise that the third film is going to be here soon, considering the success of the first two. The first film in the series was the most pricey animated film to date produced in South Korea when it came out in 2014, as it had a huge budget of $43 million. It ended up making $120.9 million worldwide. The film was also at the number three spot during its first week with over 19 million in North America. The movie was also a critical hit. It won the Audience Award for Best Children Entertainment in 2015 at the Brussels Animation Film Festival. The second film made 68.7 million internationally, of which 28.4 million from Canada, and the US public sources have revealed that the second movie had a budget of 40 million. No official release date has been set yet, but we're hoping to hear news of it soon. Soon. Really sweet. I I can't believe you saved it for me. At a recent press conference in Los Angeles, Will and Katherine Heigl talked about what it was like for them to voice their animated characters, the recording process collaborating as well with the animators, and they were asked the question, what is the one message you'd like people to take away from this movie that has so many great messages? Will replied that he'd be most proud about how the movie has plenty of good messages and one of them is the importance of teamwork. Sometimes it's okay to need help at a Admit that you can't do it on your own. Another one is forgiveness. It's good to know that even when you mess up, it's never too late, and you can always right your wrongs. Catherine agreed with everything he said. Hope you guys liked this video about Nut Job 3. Please subscribe to our channel to watch more such videos and let us know what you're looking forward to the most in the comments below. Until next time. I'm so sorry, buddy. I promise I'll never do anything reckless again.